Well, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ashley. I'm going to be taking you through the introduction of Court Reserve. We are really excited that you are here today. Now, this is in the Zoom webinar format, so know that you actually can't talk to me, but your questions are really important. So during the presentation, feel free to chat those in the Q&A or the um, chat box. I'll answer all of your questions at the very end. Today is really all about showing you as much as Court Reserve is capable of doing. See, five years ago when we started planning out Court Reserve, we were really focused on tennis clubs and organizations. Shortly thereafter, we moved to pickleball and it's just morphed from tennis and pickleball into swim, racquetball, ping pong, country clubs, homeowners associations, music studios, yacht and sailboat clubs. Um, if you can think about a space or courts or, or an organization, then we probably have one of those. So again, not sure what type of organization that you guys have who are on the call with us today, but if you could just type in the Q&A or the chat, you know, what kind of organization you are, whether you're sports, tennis, music, uh, billiards, whatever that looks like, I would love to customize this as much as possible for you. So again, thank you again for joining us today. And, um, oh, let's see, we already have a question. Finding out about Book a Pro. Awesome, we'll talk about that a little bit today. So that's a great question already. Um, so yeah, just let me know, tennis instruction, pickleball. Okay, excellent. Well, this is in our wheelhouse, so this is great. So again, not sure as much or as little as what you'll see today is actually applicable to your um, organization, but again, as, customizable as I can do this for you guys today, that's what we're gonna do. So if at any time you can't hear me or see the screen, please let me know. And we're gonna go ahead and get started and talk about the mobile side of Court Reserve. Okay, well, this is just a little screenshot to show you over the last five years where some of our organizations and clubs are located. Not only are we heavily focused in the United States and in Canada, but we're in Europe and Asia and Australia as well. This is just a screenshot of a little bit closer of our North American clients and organizations. And you can kind of see we're kind of spread out all over. So not sure where you guys are today, uh, but this is definitely a good screenshot just to kind of show you where we're located. Okay, so let's talk about the Court Reserve mobile app. The mobile app is a great function that really most of your players, admin, and staff will use. So the app is located in both the iPhone and Android platforms. This is downloadable at no charge um, to your players. And then once they download that, it's all about your organization. So you can see over here in the top left-hand corner, your organizational logo. And then it's all about customizing it to what you want your players to be able to do. So let's talk about these tabs. The first tab is called the Global Announcements tab. And I've kind of broken it out over here on the right-hand side. Anytime there's a red dot, this indicates to your player that you as an organization, you're trying to tell them something. So a new spring break camp, a new coach, a new clinic. You can use this as often or as little as possible and it's completely customizable to your organization. Now, the next three tabs, reservations, events, and calendar, well, these are all based on what you want your players to do. Is it book courts, book ball machines, sign up for classes, clinics, camps, those sorts of things. Now, the member directory is a great customizable feature in Court Reserve. It is almost like those old yellow phone books that used to get thrown on the front porch steps, but is so customizable to your organization because you can publish just a phone list of your members or just an email list or both. You can actually do it by rating as well. So what do I mean? Let's say you have a Ladies 3-5 Pickleball group. Well, you can publish a group directory for just those Ladies 3-5 Pickleball players, and it's only shown to those players. So again, completely customizable. It's great for player matchmaking. It's great for new players to the club to get to know people and to, and to set up matches and things of that nature. Now, I do want to mention here a couple of things that will be coming up in Court Reserve. We are already in process of putting together some new um, end of the year roadmap features, um, which are going to include some ladders, leagues, player matchmaking and tournaments and round robins as well. So stay tuned for those um, in the future. Now, back to the mobile app. 
My reservations, my events, and my account are all of the things that your players have reserved, signed up for, and I'll show you my account in just a moment. Okay, let's talk about your players or your members. Well, as an organization, you need to make it really easy for them to book courts so they can toggle through the days of the week on their phone. They can find the court and the time, click and reserve. If you allow ball machines or any other type of resources, they can do that as well. We have a great pickleball club up in Oregon that has an indoor facility and they're really particular about their courts and their resource are shoes. So if you wear the wrong type of shoes to their courts, they actually will let you rent or reserve shoes so that you can play on their courts. It's a great functionality in court reserve. Okay, now remember today is all about showing you as much as possible that is customizable about the court reserve platform on the mobile side. So again, this is an approved court reservation, whether you have approvals turned on or not. There's a lot of information here for your players, such as the date and the time of the reservation, their name. This organization allows guests. There is a court that's been assigned, and then there's a fee. Now, you may or may not collect fees for courts and court reserve, but we do work with two third-party credit card merchant providers, they are already integrated into the court reserve platform. So if you're looking for a payment provider as well, we make it really easy. And I'll talk more about that um, later on in the presentation. I wanted to show you this screenshot because we make it easy for your players. They can reserve a court, see their information, even pay, edit or cancel their reservation all from the mobile device. Now, when your players make a reservation, they also get an email confirmation. This is the default information they would get, and you can also go in and actually include some additional information in those emails as well. Now, events in Court Reserve are all those great classes, clinics, camps, anything a group of people would sign up for, so your players can easily determine what classes or clinics they want to sign up for, they can register from their mobile device, update or withdraw, and even see other players who have already registered for classes as well. Now, when they register for events, they also get another one of those confirmation emails, and I'll show you more about this in a few moments. Now, remember, I mentioned the My Account. Well, again, this is all based on how you guys go in and actually customize the Court Reserve platform for you. So your players can log in and see personal information like their name, their address, login information. They can see their family members. We have families in court reserve, which means mom and dads can sign their kids up for all those things happening at your organization. Now, if you work with one of our two credit card merchant providers, you can help players see their transactions. They can see unpaid fees and paid fees, even put a payment profile online. Again, if you don't take payments in court reserve, your players wouldn't see any of this. They can also go in and see their membership information, you know, features um, that allow them to have that type of membership, as well as see their ratings as well. Now, about a month ago, we came out with a brand new way for players to self-check in. Now, this is a scanner that we got off of Amazon, I believe is about $50. And you can go into Court Reserve and actually set up your player self-check-in kiosk. When your player arrives to your organization, they simply bring out their mobile app, see the barcode here, they scan the barcode in, and it actually scans them in for any upcoming reservations, lessons, or events at your organization. We also now have our first um, Wi-Fi access integration with a company called Remote Lock. This is really making a change for those courts and buildings that want your players to have 24-hour access. When they make a reservation, they get a unique four digit pin code that's generated. And then right before that reservation lesson or event starts, they can enter that pin code in and it opens the gate or the facility or the room that they can access. We actually have a great pickleball club out in Salt Lake City called the Pickler. They're a 24 hour pickleball club. So they love this because now if you're a pickleball player, you can go to Salt Lake City, make a reservation for 2 a.m., use your four digit pin code, and it is a staffless facility. Such a great integration and customization in court reserve. Okay, let's talk about your instructors, your pros, your coaches. 
Well, we give them, based on your permissions, a lot of great things on the mobile side. So they can actually go in and create closures and close those courts down, maybe when it rains or snows. The instructors also have their own schedule so they can toggle through days, make themselves unavailable for training. They can also look and see other instructor schedules as well. Now, based on your permissions as an admin team, you can actually give your staff access to the member directories where they can quickly hit the phone icon and make a phone call or even send an email on the player member directory. Now, this is an event. Remember, an event court reserve is any class, clinic, or camp. Now, as an instructor, there's a lot of information on the mobile device. The name of the class, the category it's in, the date and the time, the number of registrants, we're going to use a ball machine, and I have been assigned as the instructor. I can check players in, register more players, and even edit and cancel this event all from the mobile device. Now, this is a lesson um, on the mobile side in Court Reserve. Now, I do want to mention that currently, Court Reserve, the lesson module that goes along with the Court Reserve platform, any lessons still have to be um, entered from the staff or admin or instructor side. So right now, if your players want to take a lesson, you would need to go in and actually schedule that lesson within the Court Reserve platform. But do know this month, which is the month of July 2021, we are coming out with Book a Pro. Book a Pro is where your staff is going to be able to go in and put part of their lessons, making it available to your players, where your players can actually go in and request lessons. Um, the instructors will have complete control over how many lessons per day, how close together those lessons are. It is a remarkable product and we're so excited that this is going to be coming out this month in Court Reserve. So currently any lessons on the mobile side, a lot of information is still available at the instructor's fingertips, including check-in, edit, canceling, deleting, or even collecting payment. Now notice the pay button. If I as the instructor clicked pay, then this does not put $100 in my bank account. It actually collects it on behalf of the organization. We really believe this is a great communication tool because your member knows they've paid for their lesson, the instructor's collecting, and the organization is getting paid. Now, Check-in feature is one of the best things on the mobile side for your coaches and instructors. This allows for you guys from the admin side to do great reporting. So we've made it really easy. It's a simple toggle switch. So your staff brings out their mobile devices. They take in, you know, an attendance report right on the mobile device. And then once those classes and clinics are over, you guys can go back in and run attendance and check-in reports. Okay, I'm gonna stop the share. And that is not me. <laughs> I'm borrowing his uh, account today. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go over to the Court Reserve member portal. Now, this, of course, is the desktop side. Court Reserve is web-based, so anything that you do on the web flows through to the app, so forth and so on. And you guys are actually seeing this for the first time. This is the brand new view of the Court Reserve um, member portal. Um, this is actually something that even our clients and stuff have not seen yet, but I wanted to show you guys today. Um, and we're also recording this to put it up online. And so again, this is so customizable. It is incredible what you can do now from a member portal standpoint. Okay, so when your members log in, they'll be able to see your customization. So if you had um, you know, a red logo or a blue logo, you could actually come in and customize all of these images to exactly what it was supposed to look like for your organization. You can come down and put hours of availability, social media links, anything that you would like, including custom you know, tabs at the top, blogs that you guys may write, or information about your staff. If you don't have a website, this could actually act as a website, and it includes all of your Court Reserve platform. So from a member standpoint, they would actually go into the events, they would be able to go into the event list, and they could actually filter through the categories by which they were interested in. So here we have, you know, some backhand domination classes, summer camps, red ball classes, junior ball. Now we have some tennis and pickleball interplayed here, but your member could actually come in and say, okay, I just want to see the pickleball clinics, or I just want to see the
the pickleball cardio. Oh, let's find some pickleball for goodness sakes. Um, they can actually come through and say, okay, I want to see all of the categories, but I want to just see the ones for this week, or I want to see just the weekend classes. Um, I want to be able to come in and say, okay, I just want my price range to be a certain price range. So again, lots of customization and filtering now in this new um, way to for your members and players to be able to sign up for classes and simply all they have to do they can click on more information and then they can actually go in and register for those upcoming classes and clinics um, that they are interested in they can also um, be waitlisted for certain events as well as look at it from a calendar view the calendar view is really incredible as well because they can actually toggle month to month and then they can have a day or a week view as well now there's a lot of color customization going on here and at an organizational level you guys would decide what that looks like okay now when your members come in and you allow them to book courts, well, you can kind of see here, we've got tennis, pickleball, bocce. We work with so many different types of organizations now. We created something called custom schedulers. So you as an admin staff would go in and you would create exactly the days, the times, the prime times, everything that you want your players to be able to reserve. So let's just check tennis out. So we're gonna, as a player, we're gonna log in, we're gonna scroll through the days. Maybe we wanna play maybe this Thursday. We wanna play on the clay court. We're gonna reserve a time at 11 o'clock. And then you as an organization get to come in and say, okay, these are the different reservation types. These are the duration times. You're gonna determine if you want your members to put in other player names, whether you actually allow guests at your organization. And you can see here, We've got two members, Tim Owens and Marianne Holder. Well, there's different court costs because you can actually determine court costs by the membership type in Court Reserve. So now you can come in and you can say, okay, we're gonna have a couple of guests. And you can see here that we've got our Tim Owens. He's the original member making the reservation at $24. And then he's got two guests. So his organization is requiring him to pay for this up front. You can also put waivers and disclosures. Oh, this was big last year, especially in 2020. You know, um, they promise not to sue you. They promise to not cancel late, et cetera. So they can't even finish this without going in and actually checking on the box and agreeing. And once they do that, then they have 15 minutes to pay for this court reservation um, or it disappears. So a lot of customization. If you guys don't charge for courts, then it makes it really easy, but at least you'll be able to know that you can do that in court reserve. Now, if you have ball machines, it works the exact same way as well, just like we showed you on the mobile side. Now let's talk about those member groups. Remember I kind of talked about that with the ladies 3-5 pickleball group on the member or on the mobile side? Well, here it is on the member side. So you could actually publish an entire member directory. You don't have to use this at all. But if I wanted to look at the ladies 3-5 tennis group, um, here it is. Here's our rating. We don't have any of those phone numbers uh, published. But again, this makes it super easy, you know, when your members are going to come in and they're actually, you can see now they've made that court reservation and they actually left, but now they can actually say, oh, well, I still need to go in and pay for that court reservation um, as well. So your members can do so many things in the court reserve platform. And it even, you can see that we can determine over here on the left, again, just another view, and this is all customizable to what your organization wants to do. Okay, see the global announcement I mentioned on the mobile side? Well, here it is on the desktop as well. So if there's a red dot, this indicates that your player, you're trying to tell them something. And then another great feature on the member side, this is really a communication tool between your organization and your members. Now, let me show you what I mean. So not only can you have a news page, you again, you can do blogs and, and just kind of any pages you want, but your members can come in and they can see all of their upcoming past and scheduled um, court reservations. They can actually come in and see all of their upcoming events, whether they're waitlisted. They can even turn on event alerts. So what does that mean? 
let's say my kids are really, they love tennis right now and they want to know all about those junior clinics. Well, you can sign up to be notified anytime your organization actually comes in and says, hey, we want to be able to, uh, you know, come in and, and, and send us an email every time that happens. Every time you put something new up, we want to we want to know about that. So again, a lot of great information, uh, you know, on the member portal, as well as any billing or accounts. Um, again, we have a feature called batch billing. So if your organization is going to use, you know, invoicing and things of that nature, then your players can come in and they can look up you know, any kind of transactions and, and invoicing that they may need. And again, this is just a really powerful tool um, within the Court Reserve platform. So again, this is a brand new member portal that we, you are the first people getting to see this. Um, and we're going to be um, doing some final touch-ups next week. Um, but I wanted to show you this because I do think it's just a powerful tool. And the black and the white, I mean, everything's going to be customizable to what your organization, um, you know, wants to look at for sure. So what I'd like to do now is actually stop the share and I'm going to take you over to the backside of the court reserve platform because again, I want to show you the admin side so that you guys can get a clear view of everything and how powerful court reserve is. So let's jump over real quick. Let me get back on my, all right. So what you're seeing now is actually the uh, the the scheduler side or or the, of of the court reserve app, and I'm going to take you over to a, a great account that we have set up with some data, um, so that you can see as much as possible in the court reserve platform. Again, continue to think about those questions. I really want to answer your questions, so feel free to chat those in the Q and A or the chat, and I'll answer those in a few moments. Okay, lots of great information here. Colors are customizable by you. Of course, we've got our courts. Um, you know, we've labeled them at the top. We've got a hard court, clay court, indoor, pickleball, bocce, gym. Like I said, any space you have, we can help you with. We have a filter option that basically, um, you know, you can filter just your clay courts or just your pickleball or just your instructors. We also have a toggle bar at the bottom. So we have as little as organizations with one court and then we have, of course, um, the National Campus in Orlando with 98 courts. So you can imagine their toggle bar is huge at the bottom. Let me show you a couple cool features. So we have a drag and drop. So let's take a look at this racquetball reservation here. If we want to move this up or down, we can simply do the drag and drop. We can also extend the time. Very easy. Now, again, everything that's here is all around the permissions that you give your staff to do. So let me show you a couple cool features. We have something called combo courts. Combo courts in court reserve is where you take a hard tennis court and it's lined with two pickleball courts. So let me show you quickly how we would keep up with something like that. So let's just do a doubles reservation. Now, this doesn't just work for tennis and pickleball. We actually have some facilities that use pickleball and cornhole. We've got pickleball and um, volleyball, so many different things. Um, and again, you can kind of see that we've got our individual pickleball courts here with those separate reservations, but it also blocks that tennis court with those individual reservations as well. So really cool functionality um, in the court reserve platform. So let's talk about events. Now events in court reserve are all those great classes, clinics, and camps. So, so let's just look at this adult summer camp we have here. Now this is, um, you can see that again, you can move things around. And it's easy. So you can actually turn drag and drop off if you have sticky fingers, <laughs> which is also another great feature in Core Reserve. Okay, from a bird's eye view, we can see a couple things about this camp. This is an adult summer camp. They're going to use a ball machine. It's from 4 to 530. We have eight registrants. You can hover over the icons and see who the instructors are for this particular class. Anytime there's a red line or the dollar sign, it means that people owe you money. So collect your fees. And also we have the check-in feature as well. So anytime there is um, a triangle, it means you have registrants to check in. So let's take a look. Now I wanted you to notice that from one click of the button, we brought up the entire attendance who all of our attendees are. 
information that we could reach them. We can email them from this location. We can collect payment. So let's go in and see if we can collect payment. Oh, he's got a pending invoice. I'm not sure. Let me see here. Okay. So let's go in and we can collect this $40. So you can see how easy it is if you have a credit card machine or maybe she's gonna write us a check today. We can indicate what check number she's writing. We are gonna click save and yes, she is going to show as this is a paid um, registration. We can email her a receipt or print right there. And we can also go ahead and check her in because again, we wanna make sure and have that great attendance reporting on the backside. Now from this view, you can also reschedule her if she needed to reschedule or even cancel her registration. Now, let me show you again, if you're running a front desk and you need to register a new um, member or a new player to this, you can actually bring up your entire member directory, find their name, click register, save, and you can see how easy it was for your front desk to add a new um, player to this class all from the touch of a button. We also have a hover over feature, which gives extra information about this class. And we also use an audit log. The audit log means everything from the beginning or the creation of this event, everything that happens, it actually um, audits and keeps a record. So you can see that Tim Owens is the admin. He created this event. Then he created an event registration. He actually added some courts, changed the time, checked a player in, collected a fee. This is fantastic for training your staff or your admin team. And even if you don't, if you have a board of directors, if you are a group of volunteers, this is still great because occasionally in our live chat support, we'll get the SOS flag, help me, I've deleted a registration. And we can always point them back to exactly who did that from either the admin side or the member side as well. Okay, now let's go over and look at a couple more things. I want to show you another view of the scheduler. This is called the consolidated view. If you have a lot of the same type of courts, you can easily review. Okay, pickleball, how many courts do I have at 730? I have two and go straight to the scheduler. Now, again, if I jump back over to the instructor side, the instructors can look at their schedule a week at a glance. They can filter out their schedule. They can print it, um, export it to a PDF if necessary. But I can also, as an instructor or staff, bring up the entire instructor calendar. So you can see today, these, these are all my instructors. Here's what's going on. Again, if you run a front desk, this makes it really easy because let's say you're running the front desk and you've got all your instructors are on the court where they should be. Well, you can actually help out your members by saying, okay, uh, little Dakota, he walked in with his mom. He wants to take uh, a private lesson or maybe multiple private lessons. Well, you can go ahead and schedule him. With, you can actually um, edit the fee. Maybe he's a first time guest and you're gonna give him a, a little price break. Um, anytime you override fees in court reserve, um, we always um, show you that that's been done. But from an instructor standpoint, you can come in and make their day because they're on the court teaching. Well, you're at the front desk, so you're going to send an email to them. You're going to send a confirmation email to the player. You're going to go ahead and schedule this on the, in, on the calendar because you already have his schedule in front of you. You can leave a note on the account. Mom will pick up. And boom. This, again, is a communication tool between you as an organization, your instructors, and your players. Because the instructor's happy he did was not bothered on the court. He'll see that he has a new private lesson when he gets off. The member's happy because now he has a private lesson. The organization's happy because now everything is in one place. See, quarters are we're really trying to give people peace <laughs> and happiness, for sure. Okay. I think that's enough around the, the scheduler. Um, again, just so many customizable features. I do wanna show you closures. So uh, we live in Florida and it rains at the drop of a hat if you've ever been to Florida. So if you need to close your courts pretty quickly, let's go in and just close our courts. It's gonna rain for let's just say several days. We're gonna open up our courts back up on Friday. I want you to watch these two numbers here because these are the human beings that when you go to close your courts, well, they already have a lesson, an event, something scheduled. So you can actually see 23 court reservations will be affected and 33 registrants. So those are your classes, clinics, and camps. Now you can come in and onesie twosie, you can reschedule, you can come in and, and cancel, or by choosing B, C, or D, 
you can let the system do it for you. So if you go in and, and choose B, then this is what's going to happen. It's going to close your courts down. Anybody that's affected here will get an email that says, hey guys, it's raining. We're going to have to cancel classes today. If you've already paid, there'll be a pending refund that will be issued and they don't show up to the courts and you get to go home and cook dinner. You don't have to call people, email people, text people. The system's going to do it for you. So again, this is just a, another feature in Court Reserve that if this is a pain point for you, this can help you quickly solve having to notify people about upcoming closures. Okay, so we talked about the scheduler. Let's talk about events. Now, I know we've kind of seen events on the member side, but I also want to show you the setup. So we've got all of our classes, clinics, and camps here. Lots of information that you can look at, but let's go in and we'll just look at this junior orange ball class here. Okay, so we've got multiple dates because this is a reoccurring class. We can see our registrants, anybody who's waitlisted or canceled. We can see payment, check-in features, and even register members to this date. We have a transaction tab here as well that will show you collection of fees. So let's go in and say you as a coach or as an organization, you're gonna set up some classes. Now do know that we have a lot of coaches that just use court reserve for the programming. They don't even have a court. They actually work in homeowners associations and they kind of travel and teach all over and they use this specifically to keep up with registrations. Okay, name your classes appropriately. You get to come in and determine your categories. You get to come in and say, okay, I want to use sessions because this does great for reporting. So you can look back and say, okay, how did my winter session do over my summer session classes? And now we've got our date, times. Uh, this is recurring, right? So does your class happen every day, every week, or maybe it's custom? So this week it's on Monday, next week it's on Friday. You get to come in and say how many times this class is going to happen. And you get to come in and determine, do you want your players to sign up for each individual date they want to join? Or a lot of our junior academies, they want their players to sign up for every week of their 10 week class. Now, let's talk about waitlist. Waitlist works two different ways in court reserve. If you turn on basic waitlist, any player that's on the waitlist would get an email. The first person to come and follow through with that email um, when there's a slot open, then it's kind of first sign up, first serve. If you use auto register from the waitlist, well, this does what you think it does. It takes the first person who signed up for the waitlist, auto registers them to the event, and they sends them a confirmation email and you can kind of set it and forget it. So this is really good and we've put in here an hour. So an hour before the event starts, it won't allow auto registration anymore. So it really depends on your organization and what's best for your classes and clinics. Okay. Anytime you assign an instructor, a court, or a ball machine to an event, if it's unavailable, it will tell you so, so you don't create conflicts in the system. All right, if we come on down, you'll see multiple types of memberships here. We've got family memberships, pickleball memberships, club memberships. Core Reserve is also a full membership platform. We can help you collect membership dues, fees, initiation fees. You can also do pricing based on membership type, like I showed you on the court reservation earlier. Now, you may have one membership. You may not even have memberships at your organization, and that's fine. Membership in court reserve is a way to put a group of people in a bucket and then do or allow them to do certain things. So again, different memberships, we got you covered. You can see here that our club members are going to pay $10 drop in price and our guest non members are going to pay $15. You can also based on membership require upfront payments for classes require payment profile, you can even allow certain ones to do online registration as well. You can also do different start dates for your classes. So maybe your full memberships get to register two or three weeks out and your guests they get to do the filler and do one week out as well. All right, let's do some additional setup on events as well. You can come in and add those disclosures and waivers to any class or clinic. You can keep up with revenue categories as well. And then you can also restrict your events. Now, there's a great story behind how we kind of develop this. So you can come in and you can restrict your classes to gender, age, but you can also do it by rating. 
And you can now also do it by member groups. So what do I mean? There is this pickleball club that we've been working with for several years up in North Carolina. And they said, you know, we've got this high level group of pickleball players. And there's that one three O guy who thinks he's a four or five and he's showing, he's signing up and he's showing up every week. So we went in and now you can restrict your classes and clinics to member groups. So you create a member group in court reserve and you actually put those specific members in. When you restrict this event to that group, well, Mr. 3 is not in this group, so he can't register for this class. And if you stay, take it a step further, you can hide this event. Well, Mr. 3 doesn't even know this event exists at all. So, you know, we're really creating bliss because Wizzy, you know, he doesn't even know um, this is happening anymore. And again, sometimes it's the little things in a system that really solve the problems of what your organization needs. Okay, let's hop over. Now, I know I've kind of mentioned memberships, but again, we can do individual or family memberships. We can do trial memberships. So they actually auto expire so many days after they start. You can do prerequisites. So maybe this year's members, they get a discount if they join early next year. We can help you collect fees, initiation fees, and we can help you charge monthly, quarterly, yearly, um, or a one-time fee as well. Okay, let's talk about transactions. Now, again, I'm just gonna mention this briefly. I'm not sure if you are looking um, to have payments within Court Reserve as well, but all of these financial transactions and reportings have been created by all of those fantastic accountants at all of our clubs and organizations over the last five years. Um, they have really come to us and said, hey, we want, really want to help make this a robust, you know, um, a management platform, and that includes the fee side as well. So they helped us come in and create sales summary reports where you can come in and say, okay, you know, how did our events do this week? Um, they've helped us create aged fee reports, end of day reports, um, where we can go in and we can do batch billing, um, where we can help you post fees and collect sales tax. Again, the way that Court Reserve has been developed over the last five years is by all of our racket and sports organizations who have said, hey, Court Reserve's great, but can you do this or can you do that? And that goes along with all of the robust reporting and analytics in Court Reserve. You can come in and you can run a reservation report and say, hey, how many ball machine reservations did I have this year? You can come in and run a member report and say, OK, I want to know all of the members who have not logged in in the last week so I can contact them and make sure they're still happy with our organization. You can come in and run an instructor time report. You know, how many hours are your instructors reporting that they're teaching private lessons? You can come in and run a guest report. How many guests did member Bob bring to your club last week, et cetera? My absolute favorite report, though, is this one. This is called the court utilization report. Let's look at last month. This is a heat map of how busy your courts are. Now, remember, this is test data. <laughs> so obviously, um, I need to get busy. But what this does is if you use court reserve, we have all of your data. You just need to tell us what it needs to look like. So what this would allow you to do is if you own your organization or maybe you're reporting to a boss or a board of directors, you can come in and say, hey, guys, you know, I've been telling you that for months we need another instructor because Tuesdays and Thursdays are OK. But Mondays, if we had another instructor, we could actually do more programming. We could actually do some margarita mixers on Friday nights and get more people in the club. We definitely need some help filling the courts on Saturdays and Sundays. So again, the data allows you to have conversations with skin in the game because now you don't have to create a picture of how healthy your club or organization is. You can pull reports out of court reserve and actually show them the proof. So again, these reports all created by your fellow organizations in the pickleball and tennis world that have helped us bring court reserve to where it is today. So I want to show you a couple more things and I hope you guys have some great questions. The way that we price at court reserve is you pay for what you use. We don't make you pay a ginormous price and then not use half of the functionality. So like our point of sale, a couple of years ago, we had some clubs come to us and say, hey, guys, you know, we're using a third party point of sale. And, you know, can you just build us one? So we said, OK, we will. So we built this integrated point of sale 
um, with inventory management. You can come in here, sell your fruit drinks. That's an expensive fruit drink, by the way. Um, you can charge uh, to a member account. You can pay with cash. Uh, let's go up here and just we'll cash this very expensive fruit drink out. You can, um, you know, run inventory management, keep up with stock. You can print receipts again, but you don't have to pay for point of sale unless you actually use it. And I'll show you more about that in a few minutes. Okay, a couple more things I want to show you about Court Reserve that I think make us stand apart. So we've already kind of mentioned um, closures and courts and things, but I do want to mention a couple more things around the instructor modules. Your instructors can come in. They can set up multiple lesson types, you know, private lessons, group lessons, um, all kinds of lesson types. But they can also come in and set up custom instructor pricing. You know, we work with a lot of organizations that have 20 and 30 different instructors. And based on membership type, I mean, that is years of experience that they need to be paid accordingly. So now based on the membership type and the lesson type, you can actually come in and give your instructors the pricing that they deserve when they teach. Again, you can come in here and let's talk about emails. So of course, there's all kinds of automated emails that go out of the court reserve platform. Those would be any time a reservation's made, an event signed up, payments made, et cetera. But we also have a way for you to email directly out of the court reserve platform to your players. So you may want to send out a monthly newsletter, or you may want to send out a, a letter or an email to your parents telling them about, you know, summer camp coming up. We give you 5,000 of those a month to do. And then, you know, if you're paying for a third party MailChimp or a Mad Mimi, then you can actually cancel that because you can use Court Reserve specifically for emailing purposes to your players. All right, let's talk about booking settings. Booking settings are how many days in advance do you want your players to book courts? What time does that next day of reservation open up? How many guests can they bring to your organization each day or month? We can get as granular as the number of minutes a member or a player can book per day or per week. You can do it by family or per member. You can actually come in and do it by space. So if you're a large organization and you have 30 tennis courts, but five pickleball courts and people are fighting over pickleball, well, you can come in and give them three tennis reservations per day and one pickleball reservation per day. We actually have a new um, setting. I love this. It's called sandwich time. It's right here at the very bottom. So let's say we set it at 30 minutes. Well, if you're worried about filling courts and your court utilization, let's say you do 30 minutes. Your players can come in and make a reservation from eight o'clock to nine o'clock, but they cannot make a reservation at 930 because it creates 30 minutes of dead time, which is revenue and court space not utilized, correct? So the system won't actually let your members come in and leave dead space on your courts. That's a great new restriction um, in the court reserve platform. So if you need rules and regulations and permissions around court bookings, we got you. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, let's talk about your players. How are you going to get your players, your members into the court reserve platform? Well, the first way you can reach out to our live chat support team. We have an import template. If you have a good list of first name, last name, email, you can fill out our template with some additional information and we can you can send it back to us and we actually do the import for you or you can let your players go in and fill out your registration form that you create now you come in and you tell them exactly the information you're requiring including any custom questions ratings you can even have them sign off on waivers and disclosures so either way it, that works best for your organization is really up to you guys I would say if organizations have a good list of data, it's easier for us to help them import it. So we've kind of gone through the new member portal today, um, but let's talk about widgets. Widgets are a way to embed code into websites, or we actually have one called the lobby view widget. This is really cool. If you have a smart TV or a smart uh, monitor in the front of your organization, or a lot of our clubs have them outside encased in glass, 
then you can actually put this in the browser of the smart TV. And this is what's happening. So your players can walk up, look up at the uh, monitor and see that their pickleball doubles is um, on court one. You know, um, if we go back to today, again, it's going to be the updated um, whatever you want to show them. Now on the side, this is a scrolling list of events happening at the organization on that day. So that's a really cool feature in Court Reserve. Uh, let me show you a couple more. This is Hurstbourne Country Club um, out in Louisville, Kentucky. And uh, they have this little uh, link right here to their Court Reserve member portal. So you can kind of see they've kind of decorated their member portal. Now, of course, the member portal I showed you uh, looks a little different, um, but this is their member portal here as well. Um, this is the oh, national campus, USTA national campus. Let's go to book a court. Oh, let's book a tennis court today and uh, see, and it should take you to their member portal as well. So again, very customizable. Uh, this is our pickleball club out. It's called The Kitchen in Salt Lake City. Um, and if you wanted to go out to Salt Lake City and create an account, well, this is their membership registration form that we just showed you. And this is the information they are requiring, including a phone number, and, and they want you to sign off on their waiver and disclosure. Uh, this is a Wolverine Pickleball. So again, as a member of Wolverine Pickleball, I could go to their um, own website and click on schedule. And this is actually the Court Reserve event calendar widget. So this again shows you the functionality and how easy it is for organizations to embed things into their website. All right. So again, a couple more things I just want to mention. And I'm losing my space over here. When I tell you that Court Reserve has been developed over the last five years by organizations, well, these are some of the ideas that we voted on last summer and some of the things that are already in development in the planning stages. Um, you can see Book a Pro here as well. These are all of the things that drive the functionality in Court Reserve. And when Court Reserve, when we release things, we want to tell you about it. We want to educate your staff because, see, you can see here two weeks ago, we had some new features come out. You guys get to decide what functionality in Court Reserve is what your organization needs. And we have a database of articles and videos and just we kind of hold your hand. So really, the next step for you guys is I've got so many windows open here. Go out to courtreserve.com. If you go out to the pricing page, we have a pricing calculator um, that we can send you from our team. Everybody pays $25 a month because, again, we have a lot of instructors and coaches that just use us for that event programming functionality. So $25 a month gets you all this. And then it's $5 per core per additional instructor. And you can kind of see these extras here. We would love our team, see these human beings right here. These are real human beings. Most of them live in North Carolina, actually. And uh, they really love to hold your hand. So really what we ask you to do is let us help you trial the account. When you go out, you can click register a new organization and you get some trial data. You get to go in there and make a reservation or set up a clinic or, you know, we really want you to test the functionality of Court Reserve and we want to help you. So we want to set up a first 15 minute coaching call. We want to get an onboarding call. We want to do some training with you, help you go in and set up the exact functionality for your organization. So the biggest thing I want you to take away from today is really the fact that we're here to help you. Every single um, one of our clients, I mean, is really so unique. I know after today, you're going to have questions. You're going to be like, Ashley, I forgot to ask you a question. And again, you know, jump out to the live chat support team. Every time you go to Court Reserve, it's going to pop up and just say, hey, I want to get on somebody's calendar. Can I get on somebody's, you know, uh, schedule for this week? I got a couple more questions. We want to talk to you. We want to get to know you. So with all that, let me review some questions here. Okay, I'm not sure who anonymous attendee is, but let's see. Can members opt in to receive text notifications of closures instead of emails? So we are currently working on text notifications as a new feature right now. Text notifications is something that there's a lot of the functionality in the system we wanted to get really well done before we started doing text. So right now notifications are email based only, but text is coming this year. So that's a great question. Oh, Kelly's in Orlando. Awesome. 
uh, well, uh, we are up in St. Augustine, so we're not too far away. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, any other questions? I know you're probably overloaded. And again, that's why when we say, hey, reach out to our chat support team and get on our calendar for a 15 minute chat this week. Um, once you digest this information, if you need some references to talk to, if you just wanna start your trial account and uh, kind of play around with the system, what is a good workaround right now for booking a pro? Well, I would say right now, um, if you're a new potential court reserve, um, what am I trying to say? Partner or customer, um, Book a Pro is going to be out within by the end of the month. So that's in 10, 11 days. Um, you could go in and, and we do sort of have a, a workaround, um, kind of setting it up as an event right now. But honestly, if you can hang on for 10 days, Book a Pro will be out. Um, I've been already in the back end playing in the, uh, in the test database right now. And it's just such a cool uh, thing. So if you wanna reach out to our chat, um, our live chat team and say, hey, Ashley, um, you told me there was a workaround. If you have to have it in the next 10 days, I'm happy to help you set it up. Um, but Book a Pro is gonna be here so quickly. Um, it's, it's definitely gonna be worth the wait. So I'm not trying to put you off, but I don't want you to go through setting up stuff and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then in 10 days, it's going gonna, it's gonna to knock your socks off. So any other questions that, you know, we can help you with? Um, John, I see that you're with a YMCA. Um, we have a couple over um, in the D.C. area using Court Reserve as we speak. Um, if you would like to talk to them, um, I'm sure we could definitely reach out to them and see if they'd be willing to, you know, talk to you about it. Um, Pickleball is definitely a uh, on the YMCA board now for sure. So any other questions today? Well, again, please know that we're so glad you're here and uh, Court Reserve's just been such a great product to, to run with and to develop. And, you know, even with your uh, new ideas, so many of our brand new clients bring us great ideas for future roadmap and things like that. And, and we're just really excited to have you here. So again, thank you for joining us today. Please reach out, let us know you. Um, John, I'm going to lose this phone number. Um, so if you want to reach out to our live chat support team, John, and say, hey, Ashley said, that she could send me some YMCA references, then they'll send me your information and that way we can um, email back and forth. That'll make it really easy. So, all right. Hey, everybody take care. And uh, we're looking forward to meeting you guys soon. Have a great week.